Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I want to show you a website called Loom and it's loom.com. Uh, this is a great place to record your lessons so you can go ahead and record screen capture, record a video of yourself. Uh, and the reason why I'm sharing this today with you because it just went free for teachers and students. So Loom uh, has changed their pricing policy and if you are a teacher or a student you can use this for free. It works well to as soon as you record it saves it to their platform but you can download it, you can quickly send it a link to email has so many great options in fact I've used it a few times over uh, the last couple of days just uh, with helping with tech help in our district uh, just to get information out in a hurry without it having to go anywhere so I'll go do this little walkthrough here today um, and it's not going to take too long because this is a super easy program to use let's get started with Loom I just wanted to point out that if you're an educator or a student, this is going to be free forever. This is just not a temporary thing. Uh, you can check out, if you look at their response to COVID-19 and then scroll down a bit, uh, you'll be able to see where they tell you this to run here. Right, uh, also Loom is pro now. Uh, for, for free for education and you can see forever down here but take a look closer to that uh, if you're signing up you can go to your pricing uh, and then free for teachers and it will give you a little bit more information how the process works for this but I'll let you go through that I'm gonna get logged into my account that I uh, already have created here so I'm just gonna log in with Google here uh, and get uh, to the back end here I am using uh, my education account for this like I said I've used this lately I even have videos in here that I've used today but let's go ahead I'm gonna just start right away uh, show you how to create a video and where it goes after that so before I just jump in and create a new video uh, you can see you can have some organization here to new folder um, we have some options of how to use loom here but you're gonna be flying with this right away uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit new video like this and just to point a few things out here now uh, when I clicked on this if this is your first time it's going to ask you to install some so you either have the extension that you can add right down here um, it, it, it's a Google Chrome extension that gets put into it and that's what this one is right here but there's another option that will ask you to download I'm going to click off of this and I'm just going to move this out of the way because I have on my desktop here I've downloaded the app also so if I double click on this um, I you can see how it looks the same and I start to get um, uh, this my face down here this can move too in both ways you can move it uh, you can see you just get the options of uh, the size of this too uh, I tend to like uh, the screen the app one here uh, but you test them out uh, both what you like and everything I'm just gonna go back uh, to maximize this here and I'm gonna click uh, I'm gonna hit click on this one new video you can see so this is the extension one I have two different ones playing at the same time here so I'm just gonna close out of this one uh, some options you can see right away uh, you can go to screen cam which is both what I showed you before and like I said you can change the size of this uh, to get a different size you can move this around uh, to adjust it anywhere on the screen I kind of like the round circle effect there you could do screen only if you just want to go with a picture or cam only also so you have these different options uh, quickly that you can pick so uh, you go from full desktop current tab microphone audio you can see I'm using the Logitech Brio you can drop down select different ones my my line in here for my audio uh, the flip camera is uh, you know so if you wanted to look from the other way now because when you're looking at the screen if it's reversed you might want to uh, it might look better for you to flip it uh, in order to uh, kind of imitate if you're looking the same way for the viewer too but that's up to you uh, again some more options I'm gonna go ahead and just hit start recording here and what's being recorded will count down I'll pick my I'm gonna just stick in zoom this is my window this is my other messy desktop where I throw everything I'm gonna go ahead pick share and right now it's counting down and it's recording the stop is right here I'm gonna click this when I'm done uh, but if I go through and click on things I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right away I could uh, cancel my recording here I could pause it and then uh, finish the recording here also but I'm just gonna hit stop sharing so this is all done 
and it's already, uh, it only takes, this is a short one, so a few seconds uh, right inside Zoom here. And then I have a lot of options I can use right here. Uh, I can even download it. So if you wanted to have that on your desktop and share it a different way, upload it maybe to YouTube, you could do that. Um, you could duplicate this, you could trash it, and I could quickly share this. So Gmail, Facebook, uh, just click on this one, move to a folder, organizing it. What I tend to do a lot of times, I'll copy this link right through here and then I'll just open up an email, paste it in, write a message and send it to the person. And there's invite people to this and I can even protect it by adding a password. I'll just click on this. It's recording. The stop is right here. I'm gonna click this. So you can see there's what I just recorded when I was using it. Uh, and then there's all these other settings that you can uh, use right in through here. And these are great settings to have. I'll just show you really quickly uh, what some of them do. You can kind of go through and you can see how you have comments, notification and everything on. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna go through that one as much, but they have a trim feature in here. So maybe there's something um, that you want to trim out of this one. Uh, if I click start trimming, I can move these handles and to maybe the ends or I don't want the ends or the beginning and then I can hit remove uh, and then it goes and trims it. But then you can go back, uh, you can see how I could undo it. I'm gonna dis uh, discard this one. I just wanna show you where, where it was. A call to action. Uh, do you want something, do you want a button at some point where you tell them to click on something and maybe you're showing a website, uh, you can put the URL and then they click on it and it actually goes through this. So that's quite a great function to have in it uh, too. Custom thumbnail. So if I had a custom thumbnail that I created, the thumbnail is the picture that would be what they would see when they see the video. It's just like my YouTube videos on my YouTube channel have thumbnails. You could create it. If I click custom thumbnails, it tells you the size, what you should create it. And then you can go browse for that image and put it in. So you can make your videos look really uh, professional on this one. Um, if I go back to uh, videos, uh, this will be uh, here. You can see right uh, inside, this is the last one that I just did uh, too. So uh, it's a great way. What I like about this too, um, I'm just gonna click on this one again. It actually shows you when people are uh, interacting uh, with it. Uh, take a look at some of the other options that you uh, that you can go through. But if someone watches my videos, I'm notified in my email too. So I know if people are actually uh, taking the time uh, to watch them on it. Anyways, I hope you like this. Uh, uh, maybe you didn't know this was here, but this is a great way to quickly, uh, you know, say it with video. Like, uh, and you can send it out and get responses quick, and you can kind of even track a bit what people are doing. So, I hope you like it. Uh, what I showed you this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next week with some more tech tips and tutorials.